Hey, this is Kyle with Hubstaff. In this video, we're going to be talking about activity tracking and how it impacts your team. For many managers, activity tracking is an important tool in running a successful distributed team. Others would prefer to limit or disable some tracking features. There's no one size fits all approach. So we've made it possible for you to customize different levels of tracking for each member of your team. By default, each account is set up with the following features turned on. Hours worked, activity levels, screenshots, idle timeout. App usage URL visits and GPS locations are not activated by default. Let's quick break down each of these features. Hours are always tracked along with date and timestamps. Changes in hours can be insights into team members' behavior. Say for example, a salesperson starts logging hours at 1 a.m. on Saturdays. You may wanna have a conversation about it Activity levels are designed to show you how active a team member is during a time period. This includes tracking mouse movements, clicks, and if they're using the keyboard. Some tasks require team members to work without computer input, so keep that in consideration when you see low activity levels. If you notice a trend of low activity scores that have changed over time, this could indicate a change in working habits and less productivity. Screenshots are a capture of a user's screen. By default, this occurs three times every 10 minutes, but can be changed. Screenshots give you a quick overview of what team members are doing while they're tracking time. For example, a user may have registered low activity, but from the screenshots, you can see that they've been on a Skype call. You can also choose to disable screenshots or blur them for any user. For idle timeout, the Hubstaff timer or desktop client is built to detect inactivity. Once the user stops interacting with the computer and goes idle, Hubstaff prompts the user with two questions. First, if the user would like to include the inactive time in their line reports, or if they'd like to remove the time. Second, they'll be asked if they'd like to continue tracking time or pause for now. The apps team members use while tracking time can be very insightful. Video or chat apps may indicate decreased focus on a task. By looking at monthly view or apps used, you can easily see trends in how team members work. With the rise of browser-based tools, You'll often see the most used app is a web browser such as Chrome or Internet Explorer. To learn more about browser habits, URL tracking is helpful. URLs visited during a time tracking session allow managers to click on the same links and visit the same pages employees have. A writer, for example, may spend a lot of time looking at documents, search tools, and on your blog. Finally, there's GPS tracking, which is turned off by default. A lot of businesses use this for on-the-go team members including sales, construction, or healthcare workers. GPS location is a good indicator of travel patterns and productivity. You can adjust all the tracking features we just talked about for each team member in the settings menu. Reach out to our support team if you have any questions about tracking.